I'm going to develop a 3-bit uh, up down gray code counter using D flip flops only so here is 3-bit gray code I won't discuss how gray code this gray codes has come I have discussed in another video I will give the link in the description but I want to make an up down uh, counter so the option I will have an input as which will decide whether it will act as an up counter or a, up, uh, or a down counter so this one these are my gray codes here and for it to act as an up counter this truth table this side is if I look at this one this side is for up counting so what's happening since it is using D flip flops so whatever in the next state I want to be in the input of the D flip flop so with the clock whatever I want uh, at the in the outputs of the flip flops I the same thing should be in the input so next state should be in the inputs of the D flip flop so basically these are the conditions with up counter so for up counting this one here if we look at this one this one is coming here so this one is going there 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 just like that so when there is zero 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 the with the next clock it has to be zero zero one because that's the next one so at the input I want zero zero one so this is for up counting and this is up to when one zero zero the next one should be since it will count in a loop so the next one will be the first one so just like that this part these eight are for for up count up counting and this is for down counting so for down counting what I will have is just the previous one so for zero 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 I will have this one so this one is going there for zero zero one I will have this one so this is going there then this is going there then this is a it's like down counting and like that and the last one is going there so if I make the controller say X and if I define that when X is 0 it should count up and when X is 1 it should count uh, down so I will have to have zeros here all zeros here and all ones here so x is 1 it is going down counting and when x is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there should be one more I have missed one but anyway I won't uh, develop the I will divide this video in two parts so this part I will just talk about how the truth table are formed but then in the next uh, video I will do the analysis of the K map and minimization of the expression so anyway so what will I will have is I will have four inputs so X is one input and then this one let's say this one is Q0 here so basically the inputs are X Q2 sorry Q1 and Q0 and these are the next state values so these ones should be the input of the D so D2 D1 D0 so these three are these three outputs so this one is this one this column and then this column so all these columns because I don't have any space there so I can't really write on the top or the bottom and these ones X this is X here so this is X here this is Q2 here Q1 here Q0 here so for each of these outputs which I want at the input of the D flip flop basically so for this expression I will have these four input variables and I will have to get an expression so basically these are the present state values of the flip flop the D flip flop the present state outputs and these outputs along with X will form an expression that will come as an input to each of each of these flip-flops and this way it should work as a as uh, as a as an up and down counter so basically 
that's how I will form it so yeah I will draw the two triple again and I will find the I will convert uh, transfer them into a k map and then find the expression in the next video maybe so 